Hey everybody, welcome to the match game. This reminds me of Gene Rayburn's microphone. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Well, anyway, my name is Mike Morn, a longtime radio personality. This was one of my stations back in the day in the 80s and the 90s. And because I did so many bizarre things in my radio career, I actually wrote a book called Fifty Shades of Radio yeah, that you're looking at racy. right now. Sounds racy. It is not racy, and <laughs> but I always tell people it's a G-rated book, and if anybody buys the book and they find out there's no sex in it, there are no refunds for that. <laughs> Buy the book, get some laughs. Good point. I can tell you that well, slightly racy. I was 25 years old, and a 75-year-old woman sent me a naked picture of herself. That story is in the book, Fifty Shades of Radio. Now, the new book coming out in December is a slightly different topic, not racy at all. It's called Lunch with Tommy and Stacia, TV's Golden Age of Candlepin Bowling. If you grew up in the Boston area, Saturday was almost church day for fans of Candlepin Bowling. As a matter of fact, for 38 years, the show is on. Don Gillis, you remember him, he was the host. And the really cool thing is 200,000 people watch the show every week but there's no Candlepin Bowling on TV anymore, so I decided I better get all the stories down before we all die or forget the stories. I think that's a great and idea. the book is in, TV's Golden Age of Candlepin Bowling will be out in December. So here at the mall today, 50 Shades of Radio, lunch with Tommy and Stacia, and this, this is a scoop. I'm just announcing this on TV for the first time right now. My next book is a history of the Red Arrow Diner of which there are four in the state, and you will not believe the stories we're uncovering. That'll be the next book out in a couple of years. Thanks a lot for viewing and listening, and congratulations for winning on the Match Game. All right.